what's up guys, Scares here, and today I'm going to show you how to record CSGO and how to edit for completely free. So for this video, what you're going to need is simple NVIDIA GeForce Experience, which I'm going to show you how to download, and uh, a, uh, a uh, NVIDIA GTX video card. So let's get into it. So firstly, uh, you want you you're gonna uh, have to go to uh, www.gforce.com/gforceexperience, and I'll put that in the, that link in the description. So when you get to this website, you're gonna have to click on the download now button and open. So just click yes, wait for it to load up, and I already have it uh, downloaded, but basically, uh, you this is going to open, just make an account, it's free, and uh, just like wait for it to scan all your games and once that's done you could go into steam to open CSGO okay so now we're in CSGO so all you have to want to do is click alt z this should pop up see I'm using this right now so what you're going to want to do is click record and start or click alt f9 and it just start recording you can see at the bottom at the bottom right that uh there's a little green button that uh -huh. pops up if you are recording so just enjoy this footage for now
shot. Alright, so that was uh, what I showed you was all uncut footage of CSGO. Now, how can you edit for free? Well, this is simple. You have to uh, search up this. Microsoft Movie Maker. Here, I'm going to leave the, the link in the description below. And just get the, the the one the version that you need. Uh, I use one this version right here, Movie Maker 2012. Just get it now. Open it. Yes. And just follow that. I'm not gonna do that because I already have it. But yeah, just do that. And then when you get it this should open and the cool thing is it would automatically store every single game in their own folder so I have a uh, Dead Rising 3 footage I could use Bad Company 2 all that okay so you could see that if it opens it so click on this to add the videos I'm gonna open this Dead Rising 3 footage I had from a while ago. Just wait for it to load a little bit. Okay, so now that you have the video, all you have to do is uh, just play it. You see, right here, in this part, I'd like to cut this. Wait. Here. So you just pause that. Right click. Split. Keep playing until I want to replay it. I can fast forward by dragging the little line over to here. So, uh, pause it. Split right click in the center of both splits and remove and you can check if that seems, if that seems alright and if you don't like the changes you could do control z to go back and uh, make the changes so that's like basically how to uh, cut through scenes see right here split here split remove <clears throat> and you can watch that over here and how to uh, how to add music it's pretty simple so first you need to grab a YouTube uh, link okay so here I have the video the song I want you can just copy the link search this up YouTube to MP3. Basically, any of these. I'm going to use this second one right here. Just paste the link. Convert. Wait. See right there. It says check if that's a correct one. Alan Walker Faith. Yep, that's a correct one. So you just download. Let's go back to Movie Maker now. At the top, add music. And select Alan Waker Fade. So that it should uh, start playing the song. You could also do the same thing from Split for music. And then move. So if you don't want to have a part of the song. So like, let's say I don't like uh, all of this up to here. Like. You could set endpoint like that where it just it just ends or you could just split all of that. Click full 
screen to preview it. that to be the end you could just split and then remove all that or set end point then that's your video right there now all I have to do is file save movie and here there's different options <clears throat> so there's just an option for 1080p 30 FPS but you could change that if you scroll all the way down Create custom settings, and you could do 1080p. Six FPS, <clears throat> and you could change your bit rate. Basically, what a bit rate is is the higher it is, um, like the faster the video runs and the smoother. But it does take a lot more uh, more storage, and then you could change that to uh, the name you want. I already have one, just like this. So no. Okay, so save movie. Click this and just type the movie name. And switch to a Windows Media Video File (WMV) because that's what uh, YouTube supports. Click Save. Just wait for this to render. So <clears throat> now the video is ready. So you can open folder and watch it.
we go. That's the uh, the video is done. It's not really all you have to do is uh go on YouTube to upload, select files, go on your videos, and open it where it was. And uh, here, this is where uh, you could, um, this is where you change the title, description, tags, and it's uploading. And you and if you are partnered, you could schedule videos for a certain date and time. Uh, so yeah, that is basically it. Um, if you enjoy this and if it works. Uh, hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. I bring you happy nothing.